Hello Taurus and welcome to your July reading. So this video is for all the single Tauruses out there. Taurus, remember that these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. And if you need me to have a look at your own personal circumstances, my website is in the description box below. Just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to work with you. Taurus, also remember to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because together this is going to give you a fuller reading. I also now have a Patreon channel, so I share more videos on there and if you want to join me, feel free. The link is in the description box below. So Taurus, without further ado, let's have a look at what uh, July has in store for you. So we're going to start off with some tarot cards and then we're going to move on to the oracle cards afterwards. So the first card here that we have for you is the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So what does the Queen of Pentacles talk about? Well, the Queen of Pentacles talks about, really, it's asking you to remain practical in your situation, okay? It's asking you to be mature, all right? This card comes in to ask you to also be resourceful with what you have. Be cautious, but be realistic because sometimes when we're single, we are looking for love and we, we are excited about, you know, what could be. But this card here is asking you to stay comfortable where you are. Be comfortable in your situation. Because as we can see here, our Queen of Pentacles, she is sitting pretty where she is. She is very comfortable in her situation. So much so that you get the feeling that the person who's going to come and woo her, is going to have to be someone who is very special because she is just not anybody she is a queen and so she's got high expectations and like i always say these cards are sexless so this is you we're talking about you are feeling like you're royal you're regal and whoever is going to want to come and be in your life is going to have to have something to offer they are going to have to deserve to be seen sitting next to you because you have worked hard to be where you are to be the person that you are now and you're very comfortable saying no to any love that comes knocking at your door that doesn't match your expectations so i would say taurus this is the right thing and this is the right attitude to have work on yourself know what you want know what you don't want and if anyone comes along that is just there for the fun of it you can say no thank you because you are very comfortable in your position. So now let's have a look at the next card. And the next card is the Four of Swords. Now what does the Four of Swords talk about? Well, as we can see here in this picture, we can see that our girl here, she's taking time to mend her broken heart. She's taking time to rest, to recuperate, to recover, to heal. So this is what this card is talking about. And again, seeing that you are the Queen of Pentacles, you know the value of taking the time to heal, to recover, to be with yourself. Because we can see that our queen is looking at this situation. So what that means is she's looking at how valuable the time has been of being single, of being alone. Because that time has given you the chance to know who you are, to know who you stand for, to know what you stand for. So here with the Four of Swords, we see that you've taken the time to deeply reflect on your life. You've taken the time to contemplate on what you want. You have rested. And this card also says, pray, meditate. Because on these moments of quietness and of solitude, these are the moments that will really find out who we are. So now we see you being the Hermit. The Hermit is a major arcana card, so this card here holds the power of this reading. And I want you to have a look at these cards as they're laid out here. So like I said, we first of all had our Queen of Pentacles, and she is looking at this situation here, the Four of Swords. And now we have the Hermit card. And the Hermit card is also looking at this situation. So I can definitely see that your mind 
is on that time of quietness, on that time of rest, on that time of healing, on that alone time. And that's interesting because we see that the hermit is resounding what the Four of Swords is talking about because the hermit is all about solitude, it's all about quiet time, it's all about introspection. Is that card about going within? Is that card that focuses on seeking the truth, focuses on self? This card is all about being honest with yourself. We can see our girl here, she's got the light coming from within. So she's being honest. She's working on a shadow aspect of herself. This card here is also telling you that when you quiet in your mind, this is when you find the answers that you're seeking. Because sometimes our minds are so loud, there's so much chatter going on, there's just so much going on, drifting back, forwards, round and round when we're in our mind. But with the Hermit card, it's saying, take time alone, be solitude, rest. Because in those quiet hours, this is when your heart and your soul can speak to you. Because our hearts and our souls don't really shout loud. They whisper, the voice is very quiet. And if you're not quiet within yourself, you can miss the golden nuggets of information that they're trying to give to you. So go hiking, go for a walk, because sometimes when you talk about solitude, people just automatically think that it's only meditation time or it's the time I spend alone in bed. But sometimes going for a long drive, sometimes going for a hike, sometimes going for a walk, this is solitude because you're with yourself and you're taking away the pressure of being in a meditative state. Because sometimes I know that my clients always say, I find it hard to meditate. So this is what I always recommend is, well, go for a walk, you know, do something that takes you out of your mind. For me, even cleaning, when the house is nice and quiet and no one's at home, cleaning and tidying up, those are the times when I am in my meditative state. So find ways that you can be in that meditative state. Maybe you like gardening, go and do that, right? Because this quiet time is gonna reveal a lot of answers, a lot of information that you are seeking. So Taurus, let's have a look at some, um, at some Oracle cards. I had gone blank for a second there for a moment. <laughs> so the first uh, card that I have here for you is going to be your mantra for the month. And this card is saying, hope is the conduit for miracles yes whilst you are resting whilst you're recuperating whilst you're recovering have that hope because this is where miracles come from so the next card here that we have is saying step out of your comfort zone so where are you comfortable how can you step out of your comfort zone let's have a conversation Comment in the comment, comment section below. How can you step out of your comfort zone? And what is your comfort zone? Do you even know what it is? So this card here is just asking you, what is your comfort zone? And how can you step out of it? Now, let's have a look at the next card here. And this card here is the Fire Guardian. And the Fire Guardian talks about Ignite your passions. I love this. So how can you ignite your passions? How can you bring out that passion from within? Because sometimes when we're in recovery mode, it's very difficult to even know what our passions are. When we're single, sometimes we're just like, I don't know what my passion is. I just want to find someone. But by igniting your passions, you will know what your passions are when you're in a relationship. You will know who you are when you're in a relationship. So find your passions and make sure that you're making them part of your life. The next card I have here is the golden opportunity. I like this card because it's talking about a golden opportunity. So this card here is coming to say that important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Do not be afraid. What opportunities have you seen? What opportunities could you be missing because you are looking in the wrong places? How can you find these opportunities? Remember, it's taking that time out 
is taking that that time to be quiet that time for solitude because our like i said before sometimes when we quieten our minds this is when our hearts and our souls can speak to us now two cards fell out when i was shuffling um the goddess cards so i had to read both of them for you taurus <laughs> so the next card that fell out here in the same series is a leap of faith where can you take a leap of faith so here this card is saying take a risk and you put your heart's true desire into action so what is your heart's true desire and how can you put that into action again let's have a conversation in the comment section below let me know so this is the reading that i have for you here in the month of july Again, if you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Get in touch with me. I'll be happy to work with you. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And also join me on Patreon. And I'll see you soon. Bye.